Hi everyone, welcome back to our new episodes of Philip Trading Podcast. My name is Yong Xuan, your host for today. And with me here today, we have Trent. He's a senior dealer and marketing with Philip Features. Hi Trent, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, Austin. Good to be back. Great. So in today's episode, we will be sharing about uh, the Bank Nagaras Malaysia and on Wednesday, uh, in they increased the overnight policy rate by 25 basis points to 2% from a record low of 1.75%. And for today's topic, we'll be on which, which sector to benefit and avoid from the increase in OPR. So without further ado, let's start. And my first question to you, Trent. So um, is it a good thing for both the economy and consumer of the increase in interest rate? Okay, so in my opinion, right, the OPR rate hike right, is likely to be beneficial to the Indonesian economy. According to the BMN statement, right, they say that the move to raise the OPR was influenced by the global inflationary pressures uh, sharp increase, as well as taking into account that the sustained reopening of the global economy and improvement in labor markets continue to support the recovery economy activity uh, from the impact of, of the uh, COVID treatment movement restriction. As uh, we are all aware that in Malaysia, our inflation appears to be well contained by the government subsidies and also uh, price controls for key essentials, uh, items and fuel. However, the ringgit has depreciated by 4.1% since April and further losses could fit through to higher imported inflation and lowering the position, purchasing power of uh, consumers, right? Hence, the OPR rate hike will help to maintain the real interest rate differential against US and preserving the value of the ringgit. So overall, it will be beneficial to the economy as our uh, value of our dollar our ringgit is maintained. Yeah, okay, great. And then for uh, the next question will be, how much should we be worrying about the rise in interest rate? So will the things get even worse? Yeah, so the ringgit rose 0.1% after the rate announcement and also the KSI edged up by 0.2%. So we can safely say that uh, the market has been running well ahead of the actual policy due to the muted market reaction to the hike. The hike also was as per expectation as BNM had flagged in their previous meeting that the uh, monetary accommodativeness would be consistent with the recovery of the economy. And on top of that, the BMN's 25 basis point OPR is likely to have a positive impact on banks' earnings. And uh, banks are seen to be to benefit from the OPR hike and also their net interest margin is expected to widen. Uh, it is actually estimated that every 25 basis point of OPR rate hike would bump up sec the banking sector net interest margin by 5 to 6 basis points. And as a result, this their profit will, forecast will increase by 4% to 5%. So I believe the banking sector risk reward profile is uh, most likely to skew to the upside as very, uh, as the current valuation are currently undemanding and we are only at the start of an OPR rate hike upcycle with economy recovery. But uh, nonetheless, uh, our Investors also have to be aware that the interest rate hike might cause decline in other sectors such as uh, consumer products, automotive properties, and rates, rate, uh, as in uh, real estate investment trusts. So, higher interest rate and inflation are anticipated to, to weigh on uh, person, personal consumption expenditure due to higher borrowing costs and also the prices for consumer goods. As a result, uh, tenant sales. Uh, ahead are likely to soften as consumers may turn cautious in spending on discretionary goods. At the same time, rental reversion is expected to remain flattish in prime malls and could turn negative in unpopular malls with lower footfalls in order to retain existing and uh, also to attract new tenants. Okay, yeah, I think we also come into the endemic and then I think that will, in the future there might be some changes as well like in the future, which we are unable to see that. Okay, next for the third question. So for like financial companies, do you think that the consumer will choose to invest their fund into FD to roll interest or they will continue to place their fund into the investment for more earnings? 
Okay, uh, well, it actually depends on the risk appetite of the investors. Some investors which are more conservative uh, will park their excess funds in fixed deposits to enjoy their growing interest returns. On the, uh, the other hand, investors which are more optimistic and uh, seeking better returns can opt for slightly risky investment, risky investment such as uh, interest rate futures, bond futures, and even enter short position in stock index futures. Investors can actually trade uh, those future that I mentioned earlier with Philip Futures along with other commodity futures such as gold and silver which are also sensitive to uh, interest rate influence. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> it's good to hear that. And for the last question will be, um, how can traders actually capitalize and take a view on the FKLI? Okay, so for investors that are actually interested to capitalize on the OPR rate hike, they can actually trade the KSI index futures with Philip Futures. Uh, as, my, as I mentioned previously, banking sectors are seen to be the main beneficiary of the OPR rate hike. And these sectors actually constitute about 39% of the KSI index. So we may foresee better performance in the KSI index in the coming months. And alternatively, if investor would like to invest directly into your listed uh, banks on KSI index, they can also trade Philip Futures shares CRBs of those banking counters. Some of the notable banks like Maybank, CIMB, Public Bank are likely to see better earnings and returns due to improved net interest margin from the OPR rate hike. Uh, furthermore, CIMB allow uh, investors to enjoy better returns with a smaller capital outlay through leverage. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I think uh, for Philly Futures, we do offer future trading and also CFP. Okay, uh, so thank you for the great insight about uh, the OPR and also the products that Philly Futures are offering, like KLCI as well. And yeah, so that's all for today. So yeah, I also do learn a lot from this 10-minute uh, podcast session. And I think that will be all for today's session. Thank you. Thank you, Trent. And hope everyone enjoyed the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.